And lo and behold, I watched their theories crumble in July, August, September, now October, and I can't sit on my hands anymore, I can't bite my tongue, so I'm back, because I'm gonna steer you clear of what they're telling you to do that's ultimately crushing your dreams, and here's how they're doing it. What's going on guys, Adam Ivey, sellmusic.com, here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies that are gonna help you take that passion for making music and transform it into a legitimate business that's gonna provide you with freedom and fulfillment, two of the most important things in life in general. Now, this video is much needed. I haven't taken a full break off of what I've been doing, but I have taken a slight break from YouTube just to kind of regroup, move, I bought a new house, did a bunch of things in the background, and I've been dealing directly with my Sell Music Masterclass students as well as my accelerator program students. So that's taken a lot of my time, but I'm back. So new videos twice a week, that's not gonna change anytime soon. This video is much needed because you guys have been steered in the wrong direction by so many different people and they haven't given you the full story. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and name names or anything like that. Uh, you guys can go ahead and guess, right? But there's so much misinformation out there about you need to switch it up, do this. You need to stop doing that. That's not working anymore. Do this, do this. That you guys are driving yourself fucking crazy. And this is what I've watched Time and time again, July, August, September, you guys are failing and it doesn't look good. It's crash and burn after crash and burn after crash and burn. Now, tell me this. If you wanted to become an Olympic sprinter and be the best in the world at sprinting, 100 meter dash, 200 meter dash, maybe a 400 meter relay, 1600 meter relay for that matter, would you do that for maybe a couple of years and then go do high jump for a couple of years and then go work on your shot put skills for a couple of years? You would never make the Olympic team ever impossible. Why? Because you're switching things up. You're not focused. So many people are dealing with this new epidemic that I'm seeing, and I'm going to call it the ambition resolution, right? You hear of New Year's resolution. It's an ambition resolution. You get all hyped up over this one thing, this new technique, this new shiny fucking object, and then you ultimately fail because you're not focused on one thing. And to prove that, I did the 20 days of focus challenge earlier this year, just a few uh, months ago, and I'll put that up on the screen or in the description box below that you can go check out that video. And so many people have had amazing success with it. So many people have seen some incredible internal changes, uh, confidence boosters, seen progress and momentum swings on their social media platforms, and then their streams on Spotify and YouTube and all that good stuff. But just as many people have crashed and burned, been discouraged, why? Because people want that instant gratification. They want more cheese on the pasta than they need. Because at the end of the day, they're looking at it like, oh, this should be easy. Oh, this is exciting for a couple of days. And then guess what? Reality sinks and it's not that much fun. Yeah, I give, I give you guys, and I'm not trying to tough love here, but I give you guys five simple tasks to do every single day that should take you less than an hour a day. And I'm getting emails, oh, I've been doing this and this and this and this, but I don't have time for that. Well, you're not doing the challenge. Oh, I do these three things, but I'm not doing, well, you're not doing it. If I told you every day that you had to eat a salad and drink a gallon of water and go run a mile and do all this, and you're only doing one or two of the, those things, that's not a full fitness program. That's just kind of elements of what you're trying to do. You're dabbling. And I know you guys don't want to hear it, and I'm going to get some hate in the comments below. It's easy for you to say, well, what the fuck does that mean? Because I see that all the time. Well, it's easy for you to say, oh, because I've been doing this for 13 years. Oh, it's real, been, been really fucking easy. Been on YouTube for 10 years, super easy. Like, let me tell you about how overnight success 10, nine years takes. The fact of the matter is a lot of you guys are lazy. A lot of you guys don't have the intestinal fortitude to see anything through. You get this little shiny object and you do something for two weeks and you expect it to take off. You expect to get a record deal. You expect to get 100,000 streams over on Spotify because somebody on YouTube told you that it's easy. Oh, this is the, the secret formula because he interviewed this guy. Oh, this guy is, is, did you see the 20 years of buildup on that guy's career? before he magically just found out what worked. Like, it doesn't work that way. Yet you guys are having these new ambition resolutions of, I'm gonna stick to this, I'm gonna buy this software, I'm gonna learn this software. I'm gonna start doing this on Instagram every day. I'm gonna post to YouTube once a week. You make all these grand announcements. It's like buying up a bookshelf full of books that you never fucking read. You have this instant gratification that you have it. You know what you need to do, you know, yet you never do it. So these other guys on YouTube, these other people uh, around the world, around the internet, trying to teach you marketing and business, they have your, your best intentions. A lot of these guys have your best intentions and have the best intentions in mind. They want the best for you. But in order to create new content and be on the cutting edge, they switch it up too much. Instead of pushing a foundational steps that are going to get you to where you need to be, it's, oh, this isn't working anymore. You should try this. Is that not working anymore? Is the algorithm changing? 
The fact of the matter is the world's going to continue to evolve. But if you're doing something long enough and you make tweaks and you dial it in, especially with somebody who has experience or knows what they're doing, you're going to get there. But nobody's going to take notice of you unless you do time over tension, just like bodybuilding, just like having a diet. One salad doesn't make you skinny. One burger doesn't make you fat. Same with one post doesn't make you popular and a week off doesn't make you irrelevant. Fact of the matter is, you guys have to be a little bit more destined to follow through on your own promises because I see this time and time again. I see emails and DMs and, and even people that have been doing the 20 days of focus challenge or uh, people on other people's videos for, for that matter saying, well, this doesn't work. How does it not work when there's 50 other people that are saying like, oh, I've seen incredible growth. Thank you so much for this strategy. It doesn't work for you because you didn't put in the work. Trying to cut corners, trying to buy likes, trying to buy streams, trying to do, uh, you know, what is it called? Engagement pods with other people on a paid site where you, you like all their stuff, they like all your stuff. Oh, it's not fucking real. Fact of the matter is music's fun to do, well, absolutely. But there's a difference between doing music for fun and doing music as a business, a way to provide for yourself, a way to make money, get popularity, get your music out there and heard. You can be the best musician in the world, but if all you wanna do is play the guitar or make beats in your fucking bedroom all day, wearing some seven up branded fucking pajama pants and a Hooters t-shirt, cool, do you. The world needs a lot of people like you. The world needs the people that are dabbling with music and then go fill up fucking buckets of popcorn full time. Go back and make music. We need janitors. We need people to work at an oil change place. There's nothing wrong with that. I grew up in a very blue collar family and I respect the hell out of everybody that's doing that. But never in your life think that you could talk down on those people and go after some dream like you're all bigger than them. But at the end of the day, you're not really doing what you say you're going to do. That's the biggest disrespectful slap in the face that they could ever hear. You're talking down to them, yet you are one of them. You have to show the world what you're capable of and get away from that stigma of chasing your dream and being the guy who talks the talk but doesn't walk the walk. Now, I've been making beats since 2006. Have I made $100,000 a year every single year? No. Have I made $100,000 a year at anything every single year consistently? Especially when you get started? No, it doesn't happen like that. But the money grows. The money, the sustainable income, not just the little spikes that I talk about on the channel sometimes. The sustainable income is the long play. You watch people fail. You watch people quit. You watch people up and get comfortable and then they're irrelevant. That's the fun and the cynical part of doing your own business. Because there's a whole lot of competitors, a whole lot of people that copy my videos. And I'm not even saying that from a cocky standpoint, they're, it's just the true. Whole lot of people out there that are trying to be the next Gary V. Gary V, fucking cool, I'm not trying to be Gary. The fact of the matter is, there's so many different opportunities out there that people are copying and people are watching all these different guys tell you different things, but they're not fucking focused on one person. It's like trying to be in, in 25 different religions and be confused about what to believe in or what to dev devote your, your life or to focus on when, if you wanna become a religious type of person. I'm not trying to get off subject here, but I hope you guys understand what I mean. If you guys go and you're focused on Instagram for a month and get discouraged and quit, you don't deserve to succeed. If you guys buy software to make beats and you're recording and you do it for three months and you said this is too hard, the market's saturated, I'll never have a chance, you're right, you don't. You're not cut out for this. There's nothing wrong with doing music for fun. A lot of people look to music and do it, it's like a video game. It's soothing to them, it's therapeutic for them. In fact, a lot of you guys watching this video are like that because you don't wanna put in the work. You don't wanna put in the grunt work when it comes to marketing or branding yourself because to you, it's not important, but that's an excuse to mask the fact that you're just lazy and you don't want to do it. You can be mad at me all you want, but prove me wrong. Laziness has never got anybody's success in the music industry uh, for a sustainable amount of time. No consistency. You get a record deal, you're lazy, fall apart, you don't know what you're doing because the, the label did everything for you, you never learned, and then you blame the world for your downfall, right? So everybody's against you. If everyone's against you, then you have no chance of success, but that's the problem, you do. But until you start believing that you do, you don't have a chance for success. And I'm not sitting here talking about the secret or the art of visualization or uh, power of law of attraction or anything like that, although I do believe in some of that stuff to a certain extent when it comes to mindset positioning. Fact of the matter is you have to see something through and just like they say, the, the brightest days come after the darkest storms. And that's absolutely true. When you feel like quitting, 
you have to look through it and say, okay, 95% of people who are at this same stage in your career that want to quit are going to quit. So if you just kind of, you know, suck it up for a few more days, a few more weeks, a few more months, and you get through it, and you, you get comfortable with the uncomfortable, you're going to lose 95% of your competition. Because people that are making videos just like this, that have 5,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, I hope that they surpass me. But I know that they're not going to because I'm not going to quit, right? And so that's the only thing that we're in control of is our actions, our thoughts, and our emotions, and our health, our, really, our health. That's what we're in control of in life. So we get all stressed out over these different things, these competitors, right? When there's plenty of room at the table for everyone. And if you just kind of watch and listen and, and are open-minded to what other people are doing, take influence, but don't be uh, you know, a direct knockoff of anyone, you're gonna have some success. But the problem is, if you don't let the pie bake long enough in the oven, it's gonna be a sloppy puddle of shit. You don't wanna be a sloppy puddle of shit, do you? In the comments below, let me know what you do and let me know how long you've been doing it. Let me know if you've been discouraged after doing something really hard for a few months or a few weeks or a few days. Let me know what your number one complaint is when it comes to pursuing a career in music and your number one challenge obstacle. Now, I'm not trying to discourage anyone with just being real with you guys. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything or be a prick or an a-hole, any of that. You guys can make it, but you guys need to be in the right direction and you guys need to see things through. Don't get ADD and just jump from thing to thing. In fact, here's some actionable items that you could take right now to get you in the right direction with your progress, see a little bit more clarity and have more confidence. I want you to click on that video now. And if you haven't yet, click on that little subscribe button to subscribe to the channel and then smash the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a video just like this. So I want you guys to get to work and I'll see you in the next video.